of yes. course, we have a guest, full professor and founding dean of tourism and hospitality management school of Central Asian University in Tashkent, PhD, DSC. Uh, C.H.E. is Erdogan Ekis. Please welcome to our studio, sir. Hello good and good breakfast today. Good morning. Merhabalar, hoş geldiniz. Hoş bulduk, teşekkürler. Evet. Welcome to our studio, sir. How thank are you, you very much for... Wow, First of all, thank you very much. amazing uh, Uzbek morning. It is a little yes. bit chill, yes. but it keeps you fresh. Exactly. Thank <laughs> you right. very much, first of all, for accepting our offer. Thank you. We for really appreciate me. your precisely time and work, and I hope that all of your work and life experience will be very beneficial and interesting yes. for all of the, the spectators. I, ho I hope so. And first of all, could you introduce a little bit about yes. yourself to the well, viewers? Um, your colleague did a great job. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks. Uh, my name is Erdogan. I'm from Turkey, and I've been living in your lovely country for over two years right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, I am the founding dean uh, of Hospitality Management and Tourism School in Central Asia. This role that I uh, got recently, three months ago. Yes. Before that, I was working in a couple of different universities in Uzbekistan. However, uh, I have. Mm -hmm. I have to admit that uh, a little bit long um, academic career. Yes. I was in uh, Morocco as the founding dean, Saudi Arabia, uh, Malaysia, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Cyprus. And uh, I'm here for 40 plus countries later, either visited or lived. Uh, I'm here to lead hospitality and tourism education in my university. Wow, How extraordinary. that's really That's great. And you. Uh, you have great experience, I guess, yes? You have visited to so many countries and uh, could you please share about your unforgettable like experience in the countries, in the destinations you have visited? Well, that's a very good question. As a tourism educator, I will uh, involve my experience in my class yes and wherever i go uh, i try different things for example when i was in korea i try eating a live octopus mm -hmm. when i was in china i ate some crickets and other things not because i mean you cannot survive without okay. them but it is something that makes uh, that culture that um, society interesting you cannot learn this by just reading books. Yeah. So it is very important uh, not just to go to a hotel, sit down by the pool, but experience the culture. This is the true hospitality. Yes. Yeah, and in that case, can you show us your some kind of experiences or philosophy about uh, taking action for the step forward of the improvement of tourism in Uzbekistan? What wow. is your perspective? That, that's, I'm very excited that you asked. Uh, in 2019, President uh, issued a decree yes. uh, setting very ambitious goals for Uzbek uh, tourism and hospitality industry. That is a great vision because diversifying economy is always great. And uh, one of the oldest forms of uh, tourism is the Silk Road trade um, passing through Uzbekistan. So Uzbek people, from my humble opinion, already had a great um, hospitality in their DNA. So my job is not as difficult as in a couple of different places I work, because when you take a Yandex, people are smiling at you. When you go to a shop, even if they, for example, they speak limited English, they uh, compensate it with their Turkish, and they try to help you, go beyond their, uh, out of their way to help you. This is a great start. So uh, what we are doing as a tourism and hospitality school and university is bringing international certification and knowledge to um, Uzbek uh, history and DNA. So combining these two uh, creates an amazing uh, experience for our students. Well, that's right. Great. And as we all know that tourism is a tool of promotion. All, sure. all country, uh, countries who have great tourism sector mm -hmm. will definitely uh, like prosper, right? Will grow. So what do you think? What is the impact of the tourism in in our country and in Turkey. Okay. What do you think? Um, in general, let me start with general. Uh, tourism dollars do not stay as spent. 
For instance, if uh, an American tourist comes and spends $1,000, in, in a hotel, it doesn't stay as $1,000. The hotel pay tax to the government. Yes. They pay their uh, suppliers because they have to yeah. serve egg and osh and you yes. know, yes. you know <laughs> all these uh, yes. delicious pilaf to, to the guest. And the suppliers of those ingredients earn money. So yes. in, in academia, we know, uh, we know this uh, phenomenon as multiplier effect, like mm -hmm. ripple, when you throw a stone in the water, it gets bigger. Yes. So that uh, $1,000 spent turns out to $10,000, $20,000 for the benefit of uh, the country and economy. Yeah. Uzbekistan is a rich country, but you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. So having your culture, unspoiled nature, and uh, very interesting, uh, how may I say, uh, unspoiled nature is a great asset. So using yes. that is uh, what we are trying to do. Train the next generation of people who will be leading this effort. This reminds me 1980s Turkey, when you know uh, people start, they were thinking that oh, why do I need to study tourism? My yes. grandfather told me that in 1990s when I said I want to study tourism, he said if you want to be a receptionist, go to a hotel. If you yes. want to be a waiter, go to a restaurant. Why do you need to yeah. study? The answer is short answer is this. You combine the international knowledge, book knowledge, that will push you faster in your career. Instead of 10 years, you can be supervisor, manager in five, seven years. Yeah, that it is will be uh, uh, faster. Faster. Yeah, it will be accelerated. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's interesting. Yes. And yeah. Yeah. Nowadays, we see lots of tourists in uh, in, in our country uh, from different kind of countries, right? Yes. And also, uh, during the pandemic, we had stuck in tourism, right? Yeah. It was stopped. Mm -hmm. So what was the main role? What do you think? It's your, I, I, I'd like mm -hmm. to know your opinion. Sure. So what do you think? What was like promotion? Uh, how did the countries uh, work in order to grow the tourism in, during the pandemic? Okay. What um, do you think? The pandemic was, and still some variants are going on, is a, was a horrible thing. Yeah, it was stopped. Okay. Yeah. Stop, stop. Mm -hmm. And because place. of the nature of uh, tourism and hospitality, people connecting with people, uh, it is one of the worstly affected uh, industries in the world. Yes. We couldn't uh, travel. Mm -hmm. However, traveling is in our nature. This is how we evolve, how we learn and improve ourselves. Yeah, right. So all that uh, penned up uh, and saved money and penned up energy and you know, yeah. this is called revenge tourism. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. means uh, people who couldn't travel, in the first chance they go and spend money. According to United Nations World Tourism Organization, yes. uh, by the end of this year, we catch up with 2019 uh, statistics. That means uh, it took us uh, almost four years to recover, but this is the beauty of it. Like, you know, you, the life is unpredictable. You cannot simply, you know, hope for the best. Uh, all you need to do is, when you face a challenge, all you need to do is find a way to benefit from it and move forward. Yeah. Yeah, of course, definitely. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, some kind sure. of places has been uh, entered to the UNESCO yes. as a showcase yes. of the uh, historical landmarks of Bihar, Samarkand, and yes, Russia, the, for example. Yeah, of that's, yeah. that's very amazing. I was fortunate enough to be invited to UNWTO's yeah, uh, assembly in Samarkand. In, Sam in Samarkand. Uh, that was a great uh, showcase of Uzbek's, Uzbekistan's commitment yeah. to the tourism development. All that uh, center and the region area prepared so nicely. Yeah. My professor from Hong Kong Polytech and other friends came and they were like, wow, we mm -hmm. were not thinking this before arriving uh, to Uzbekistan. So that's another way of uh, showing the dedication of the government to the future of tourism in Uzbekistan. Yeah. That's right. And again, what kind of propaganda we have to do for the enhancements of this sector? Um, I think 
uh, instead of competing with the, the countries who are already known as, for example, technology advanced business um, destinations. Yes. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. You want to play in your strong hand, your nature, your cuisine, your your culture, Customs, history. Regions, yeah. the, these are the things that makes Uzbekistan special. Yes. So these are the things that I think focus should be on. Yeah. Which one do you think one of the most uh, renowned one among the uh, other countries among the world, I think. Co cuisine of Uzbek or culture or tradition uh, or nature? Uh, the, the nature is uh, unspoiled but difficult to get in if you have limited time coming to Tashkent. Uh, my um, recommendation uh, and re uh, suggestion would be the history and nature. Mm -hmm. So many people come to see the tombs, the, the yeah the historical sites that are uh, protected by United, uh, listed by UNWTO's heritage. Mm -hmm. Conservation. Yes. Preservation. Yeah, and sir, uh, as we all know that tourism is really diverse. Mm -hmm. uh, some people understand tourism like a guide and hotel, that's it. But mm. we have to also mention that tourism is really diverse. Yes. There are so many people working on this, right? And also like uh, manufacturers who provide the de desk, for example, to yes. their hotels. We can also include them to the tourism, why not? Sure. They are contributing. Uh, what do you think? Uh, uh, so lots of workers are working in the tourism sector, right? Sure. So how can we like tell the people that regarding this kind of tourism? Because as I told you before, mm -hmm. they also understand like guide and hotel, that's of it. Of course. Sure. How can we teach them that the tourism is really wide? What do you think? Yeah, Should we just advertise or yeah? something? Yeah. How sure. can we teach that with sure. educational uh, The Ministry of uh, Tourism and uh, National Heritage is doing a great job already. Uh, more and more um, Uzbek families are becoming aware of the importance. Uh, however, as you said, uh, tourism is not just hotel and restaurant. Yes. It has airline, customer mm -hmm. services, yeah, yeah. all those um, cafeterias that provide yes, yes. tour guides and many, many other things, museums. Uh, this is what, uh, as you mentioned, education is uh, very important in understanding your future uh, job opportunities. It's not just, as my grandfather 30 mm -hmm. years ago said, it's not just to become a waiter. Yes. Yes. It is yes. leading and contributing to your uh, to your country. Society as yeah. well, yeah? Yes. And the people as well. In order to demonstrate to the world, we have such kind of very yes. uh, prosperous things or prosperous places or from the yeah. cuisine to the sure. nature. Yes. And can you share with us your other some kind of working experience uh, among the uh, in terms of the other European countries? Well, um, they, before... They also you have worked as a, uh, some kind so of tourism, sure. tourism sector. Sure, I, I mean, I don't want to pat my own shoulder, but uh -huh. uh, before um, being in your beautiful country, I was in Morocco mm -hmm. as the founding dean for almost uh, two years. Before that, I was head of department in King Abdulaziz University in Saudi Arabia, then uh, Malaysia, Taiwan. So for 24 years now, I have to, you know, <laughs> accept that I'm getting old. Um, I've been uh, involved in tourism education. So uh, when you invite me to talk about tourism and tourism education, I was very uh, excited because there are so many things that I'm passionate about that uh, yeah. I would like to talk. Yes, yeah. definitely. And most of the people uh, consider that Morocco is one of the most uh, expensive city or place. What is the well, opinion about that? Well, Hong Kong, Shanghai, mm -hmm. you know, London, those are the expensive places. Mm -hmm. Morocco is very nice African culture merged with French uh, culture. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was nice to, to live there, yes. Yeah, and sorry. how it's affect uh, for the tourism sector, for the price yeah. and other is uh, some kind of unique, uh, uttermost vitality of the uh, things, just like the price or service. Sure. Okay, um, I have to be very honest. Uh, tourism comes with uh, advantages and disadvantages. 
advantages, employment, uh, protection of national heritage, because when you know that Pilau is being yeah. used as a um, national heritage uh, and valued by your tourists, you protect it the same yes. way the historical size. And it, it creates economic inflow, of course, but uh, if it is not planned well, uh, the environmental pollution yeah, environmental. And cultural degradation, sometimes even crime. I mean, we, we yeah, have to course, be very important. realistic. You cannot simply close yes. one eye and say that everything is great. Of course, if it's not managed well, everything, like even drinking milk, if you drink every day, it uh, deteriorates your health. Yeah, yes. perfectly amazing. Not? Right now, can you share with us some kind of unique information which was uh, dedicated to the uh, exhibitions which was held or initiated in the Central Asian University, especially okay. about this uh, field? Yes, um, we've been, uh, we are comparatively a new school, I have to say. However, uh, we are working with international partners yes. to uh, bring international education and certification to Uzbek youth at the comfort of their own country. Mm -hmm. And if I may dare to say, at a very reasonable price. We calculated the cost of studying abroad is around 12 to 15 times more expensive than the tuition fee that students uh, are paying to get the same degree. Yes. People uh -huh. are thinking that, oh, but this is like, you know, it's not as, as good as the other sort, one. Yeah. No, definitely it's the same degree from the same university. However, what changes is you compensate this with international partners. As mm -hmm. ACFA Group, we are the franchisee of uh, Hilton International Hotel. Yes. Mm -hmm. So our parent company, through parent company, both of us are working together. Our students are having their internships in mm -hmm. Tashkent uh, Hilton Hotel. That, that's a great uh, experience. Our, most of our uh, trainers are from industry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 30, 35 years of uh, experience working, working with uh, different international uh, companies and different destinations, bringing that wealth of experience to our students. Yeah. So at, at uh, Central Asian University, we believe that the book knowledge, as important as it, as it is, is not enough to, um, especially for the hospitality and tourism industry, it's not enough. You, there are things that you need to get your hands dirty, uh, make a bed, you know, clean some rooms and make some salad yes. so that you learn how to manage people who does it for you later. Yeah. Well, that's so, great. Thank you and very much. And at the end of our yes. conversation, okay. can you can share with us some kind of future goals as well? Yeah. Oh. Uh, on behalf of your goals and uh, some kind of university's yes. prospects yes. for that's the future. Okay, um, our university is in the process of um, creating a, a collaboration with a Swiss university mm -hmm. that is uh, known for their hospitality uh, education. Mm -hmm. So that yes. is uh, going to be the first in Uzbekistan mm -hmm. that provides a Swiss education and certification to Uzbek youth. We as a Central Asian University yeah. It's our mission to bring international education to Uzbekistan, on, uh, improving Uzbekistan, but also the region around us. So mm -hmm. we believe that this is going to help the prosperous future of Uzbekistan. Yeah, for yeah, sure, why not? definitely. Exactly. Makes sense, very perfect. Thank you yeah. very much, Thank Victor, you very much for, for accepting our invitation. Yeah. Yeah. We wish you all the best. Thank you. And Have a great good future. Health. Thank you very Thank much. You very Have a great much. future. Take care, sir. You see, so yeah. now I really uh, 
when I talk with somebody uh, else, he is. Who is interesting and, and who is what? free and a uh, person for oh. our country. So exactly. our conversation will be really interesting, I hope. So now, can we invite him? Yeah, of course. Mm. So please please come here, our first guest. Our first guest. Welcome to Professor our studio, Professor Erdogan. Erdogan please, please, please come here. First. So he's Professor. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Please you? take a seat. Thank you. Thank you. How was your morning? So far, so good. It's a little bit chill. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Minus one. Minus right. one. <laughs> oh, so, I really want to uh, yeah. make enjoy you with our tea, oh. Mr. Erdogan. Oh. How was your day started? Are you used to such uh, cold weather? Well, I was uh, living in the eastern part of Turkey. By the way, I'm from Turkey. Yeah. Um, and they Please were enjoy. days got minus 20, 30, oh. but for the last... 20, 30, you said? Minus, yes. Oh. Very close to ex-Russian border. Uh -huh. a, a city called Erzurum. Erzurum. If this is Turkey, this was very close to the ex-Russian oh. yeah. uh, border. Mm -hmm. But for the last um, 20 years, I've been living in very warm places oh. like yeah. Cyprus, Hong Kong, Taiwan, wow. Malaysia. Really? Saudi Arabia, nine years, uh -huh. Morocco, and Uzbekistan. And Uzbekistan, Great. good to hear. So, can you introduce yourself a little bit, please? Sure. Just a moment, um, just a moment please. We have a <laughs> can we ask for call. this, please? Please. Say so, hello. hello, good morning. Hello. We are. Hello. What's hello. your name? Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Could you introduce yourself, My please? My name is Leila. Oh, it's so oh, good, nice Lilo. Do you have an answer? Don't hesitate. Um, my answer is emotion. Ah, it's what? emotion, right? Emotion. Mm, ah, maybe, exactly. maybe you're right. Why not? Okay. Why not? In we the got phone. your answer. Uh -huh. uh, do you have anything to say to your friends, peers, or relatives? Just to say hello or just congratulate um, them? Okay, uh, I am going to hello everybody from Uzbekistan, uh, mm -hmm. especially um, my people and uh, my mother, my father, and everybody in Uzbekistan. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And, uh, so. You should. Um, so good, great. right? It, it is great, actually. I am going to. Um, Give you emotion, emotions, emotions, a lot of um, okay, we... and a fantastic job. Ah, well, thank, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for your call. Uh huh. In, in the end of mm -hmm. our show, you can find out the true answer. Maybe your answer is true, yeah. so that's why. Please so be look with us. forward for our answer. Have a nice day. Bye bye. 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 So okay, if we back go our show, back to our can you yes. please introduce yourself? Right. My name is Professor Dr. Erdogan Ekiz. I am from Turkey. Uh, mm -hmm. Recently, I joined the Central Asian University as mm -hmm. the founding dean of Hospitality Management and Tourism School. Mm -hmm. oh. It's a newly launched uh, school. We are working with international partners mm -hmm. wow. to provide uh, certification and uh, world-renowned education to Uzbek mm -hmm. youth mm -hmm. here at mm -hmm. the comfort of their own country. So. Why you chose this, this country? Well, uh, to be honest, this uh, first time in my life I follow my wife. Uh, uh -huh. During the pandemic, we were in Morocco, uh -huh. and my wife got a job offer from presidential school. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, being a Turk, and I want my uh, my boys to uh -huh. have the Turkish culture and Turkish uh -huh. background a little bit. Yeah. So we decided uh, over a couple of other destinations to come and live in Uzbekistan. And uh -huh. since almost two and a half years now, I'm mm -hmm. living with my family, two boys, lovely wife, and two dogs. Wow, it's the oh, dogs. Interesting. Yeah, huge ones. Oh, can oh, you tell their what names? T uh, what One is Kara. Uh -huh. He's a Newfoundland dog. He's two years old, but 70 kilos. Oh. 70 kilos. <laughs> oh. So and actually, you know, the big dogs actually they are really kind compared yes, to little ones. Yes, he's a softy. Uh, softy, right? Yeah. Yes. And uh, uh, I had 
experience working um, in Westminster for a semester and mm -hmm. I was the dean at Team University mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. one and a half years. One and a half mm -hmm. years. But so. my background is tourism and hotel management. Oh. So when um, the Sorry. opportunity arises mm -hmm. and it's always a new challenge to establish something from scratch, oh, scratch and you know grow with it. But professionally and you know professionally uh, right yes that, that's always great to you know uh, build your own thing working with a new exciting team while uh, we watching the ad you said you've been 45 countries right if I'm not mistaken 47, 40, 47. yeah it's 47 impressive, it's, really. it's so much yeah. For me, for example, aren't you exa exhausted with such kind of travel? No, uh, no, I think because no. you know many people who let's say travel a lot, they complain that uh, there are a lot of things, stress, stressful pressure on them while yes. they are traveling. So, well, that, that's always a t uh, you know fact that traveling is work. Okay, oh. however. Um, the rewards are so much more than the, the uh, cost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, you spend money, you get, you know, jam in a narrow plane mm -hmm. and you have some difficulties. However, the whole idea is um, traveling opens up uh, great doors and insights for people. Oh. Uh -huh. Before uh, attending my PhD in Hong Kong Polytech, mm -hmm. I, as a, as a Turk, I haven't had any idea about Hong Kong, uh -huh. right? Uh, so and I was thinking that people there all just eat, you know, weird food yeah. and <laughs> this. And when I traveled there, I said, wow, look at this. You know, as yeah. a Turk, proud Turk, uh -huh. I said, Turkish cuisine is great. We have so many food. Uh -huh. I went to China and I was like, <laughs> wow, this, wow is, right? <laughs> this is great. This so is great. Uh, to go back to your uh, point, yes, uh -huh. traveling, add some stress but uh, the reason why you travel uh, is going to cover that oh, if you want okay. to relax yeah. go to the southeast asia or mm -hmm. turkey or okay. uh, Me mediterranean region if you want culture go to you know uh, the temples and the museums it's oh, amazing place yeah. for whatever so you travel i have a question sure. for you have you ever been to let's say cold uh, countries to northern countries like uh, finland or norway where the temperature is really cold my oh. <laughs> the, if i'm not mistaken the average uh, annual temperature is Minus one percent, uh, minus one degrees yes, in sir. Finland. Yeah, okay. from the trail block. Well, <laughs> I, this. I haven't been to Finland, but when I was growing up, I was in the eastern part of Turkey, where mm -hmm. uh, the the weather is very close to Uzbek. Mm -hmm. In the winter time, I remember wearing layers and layers like cabbage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> walking around. Minus uh, 25s and 30s, oh. it was really oh. cold. It's so yeah. cold, it's so cold. So I have a special sure. question for you. Sure. Uh, except seeing beautiful things, except enjoying the traveling, what can get we uh, from the traveling? What kind except of, seeing yeah. beautiful things. All right. Um, getting, know to, uh, getting known to another uh, country, visiting that country, allow you to understand people and culture. This, mm -hmm. this is, I think, the most important one. Mm -hmm. The first time I arrived in Uzbekistan, of course, mm -hmm. I had Uzbek students when I was teaching in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. uh, I met lots of uh, brilliant people uh, in Turkey. However, when I arrived here, the hospitality, the, you know, warmness, mm -hmm. you know, improved the, the, the positive feeling I had uh, towards Uzbek people and mm -hmm. the country. So, mm -hmm. without being here, I wouldn't experience those things. So mm -hmm. that's the reason why I'm a tourism and hotel management professor. Right? Because uh -huh. um, when I was your age, if I uh -huh. may dare to say, mm -hmm. I was working in Burger King mm -hmm. uh, to earn some pocket money. And when I became manager there, I needed a university degree. University, yeah. So I said, OK, hold my position. <laughs> I'm going to go and get a degree and come back uh -huh. uh, right away. Uh, but when I 
Um, when I was studying, I realized that being a professor is much more fun because, fun. you know, interacting with young people like yourselves, uh -huh. uh, getting energy from them, working, seeing them grow, both yeah. physically and mentally and academically, uh -huh. was a great joy. So for the last 20, yeah. I will give away my age, <laughs> 24 years, I've been, I've been in academia. Wow. I've been studying, teaching, researching. So it was a great fun for me. The fun, yeah. right? Yes, But uh, you have a fun, but in other uh, part yeah. of way, Everybody have obstacles with their work, with their sure. uh, favorite Study. thing. Uh, what, uh, what, can, what could you Advice. do with these obstacles? All have right. you ever came across with obstacles with your How team? you manage to, mm -hmm. let's say, overcome these kind of uh, obstacles? Or sure. uh, that's difficulties? a very good question. Um, as you put, uh, rightfully, uh, obstacles are part of the life. You cannot simply say that, okay, wish for everything goes smoothly. Then you don't enjoy the, mm -hmm. the good times if you don't mm -hmm. ever have bad times. Mm -hmm. um, persistency is one mm -hmm. thing. Being in the positive mood is mm -hmm. very important. You cannot just give away and accept the defeat. Mm -hmm. I had some difficulties. I recently lost my mother. Yeah. And so I, I could go to depression or I could, you know, uh, learn from this and uh, live for my job, for my family, for, for, the, for my students, like yeah. enjoy that. Uh -huh. yeah. That is the two things, persistency and positive attitude. Yeah. Positive You've attitude. You've got really good, uh, let's say, at a position, state uh -huh. of being. Yes. But how yeah. can you find positive attitude? Well, uh, it, it is, you know, personally, I cannot, you know, I'm not an expert in the area. My wife is, is uh -huh. a psychologist, oh. so um, she will give you a better uh, strategy. But my own uh, idea is just see the, uh, the, see the one uh, positive side of everything that happened. Mm. For instance, yeah. I got denied visa to a country but instead I visit two other countries. Yeah. So if I sit down and say, oh, I didn't see this country, yeah. then you don't enjoy the next best thing. Mm -hmm. And you never know. I was never meant to be uh, or plan while kids are growing. They say, what do yes. you want to be? Oh. Say, I want to be a fire. We have a phone call. Sorry oh. for interrupting. And hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Thank you. What is your name? My name is Muhammad Ali. Nice to meet you. Do you have an answer? Yeah, I have an answer for your question. Yeah, we My are... My answer is battery. What? Can you repeat again, please? Battery. Okay, we got your answer. At the end of the show, we will tell the answer to this result of the day. If you have anything to say to your friends, relatives or uh, peers, you can... Don't hesitate, just say hello or... Good yeah, job. I'm sure your uh, your club is very best and very useful for our young child. Yeah, and thank you. I can recommend for everybody uh, who start learning English. Yeah, thank, thank you so you. much. Have a nice day. Have a day. nice day. Bye bye. bye. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. So let's go back to sure. our so finding positive attitude from your. Okay, so seeing mm -hmm. the full side of the glass because being oh. negative is always easy mm -hmm. like you just you know shrug your shoulders and say that oh this bad thing happened to me I yeah. don't have that but that's no way to you know be happy you be just happy, right? being happy is a work as well you yeah. cannot simply say that okay I will sit back and w expect the good things happen to me you uh -huh. have to work for them uh -huh. so I have recently heard the sure. concept that says that we attract the things that we are thinking about. For example, when we are, we, when we are always in negative moods, we always mm -hmm. attract the negative things to mm. our life. Sure. However, we are in the positive state, mm -hmm. we, we can just overcome all our problems. So, that. so basically, yes. your advice and your method is just, uh, just focus on the positive sides of the things, right? Sure. 
I mean, there's yeah. a silver lining in every, uh, everything that we go through. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes it's very easy to see. When I wake up, see my wife and my kids, my dogs, that makes yeah. my day. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you have difficult days and you need to work a little bit harder to find the, uh, the positive side, but it's always the, the way to go forward. Mm -hmm. But it's so good, right? It's so sure. good, it feels uh -huh. good. Sure. So mm. we have a special another. questions for sure. you. I have special oh. answers for you. <laughs> really? Yeah. So first question is, would you consider yourself a generous person? Like a generous, generous. person. Um, yes. I am generous with my, uh, with my time with other people mm -hmm. because I had chance to have a couple of really uh, very positive people in my life. They, huh. they helped me during my studies, uh, my professors, my, mm -hmm. my friends, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and sometimes I didn't get that help. So mm -hmm. what I do is I learn from the, the things that happen to me in a good way, mm -hmm. like, you know, I got support. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I, when I didn't get support, I said, okay, in that issue, I need support. So <laughs> sometimes That's when a young mm -hmm. academic approached to me, I said, all right, I go above and beyond. And mm -hmm. people are saying, why are you so nice? I said, well, because, you know, I, I felt that uh, yeah. what I needed was uh, given to me. Mm -hmm. So I would like to return the favor and, you know, support the next generation. Yeah, support, it's really right? interesting. Can you say anything to our guests to, let's say, motivate them or uh, guide them to conclude our conversation? It was really interesting to have a conversation mm -hmm. with right. you. So we would like to, uh, let's say, uh, finish our conversation mm -hmm. with your advice or sure. with your course. If I may take a couple of minutes, because as, yeah, as my course, profession, of yes, of uh, as a professor of tourism and hotel management mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, being in a country that is amazing, the mm -hmm. Old Silk Road was through here, the oldest, one of the oldest type of uh, tourism and hospitality was in your country. Yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. I'm very happy to uh, to teach uh, hospitality and tourism, to, mm -hmm. to support the development of the industry. In mm -hmm. 2019, uh, there was a presidential decree mm -hmm. setting very ambitious tourism and uh, hospitality goals for your country. Uh -huh. So uh, as university, mm -hmm. as department, mm -hmm. and as a dean, we are in the Central Asian University uh, doing our part, uh, bringing international mm -hmm. education to Uzbekistan. Wow. And uh, by uh, bringing that international standard, combining with local hospitality, mm -hmm. that's a, a recipe for success because mm -hmm. you don't have to push mm -hmm. Uzbek people. When you get into a Yantex, and then I say, Salam Aleikum, he says, Abi Merhaba. They, they start <laughs> talking Turkish. Yeah. And when yeah. you get lost, people are already there to help you. So mm -hmm. Uzbek people uh, are very uh, generous with their support and uh, time. Uh -huh. So um, to wrap up, uh, tourism hospitality is an alternative uh, resource for uh, for your country yeah. and we are bringing our international partners, international faculty mm -hmm. to support this goal. So, it's so our really aim. Interesting, yeah. but unfortunately we have a limited uh, sure. time. So uh, could you just, uh, <coughs> let's say, give a, some kind of quotes of the day to mm -hmm. end our conversation? Sure. Um, well, it's my philosophy like we discussed. Mm -hmm. Things always do not end up as uh, positive as you hope, mm -hmm. but the silver lining is uh, work really hard to find uh, the positive things in your life mm -hmm. and be generous with your time, smile more, spend time uh, with the things that make you happy. That's mm -hmm. very Thank important. you very much. It Thank was really much. interesting to have yes. a conversation with you. It so. was really interesting. Thank you very yes, much, sir. And we you. hope well. you in next uh, yeah. time, of course. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Have a nice day. Great job. <laughs>